In recent years, the Pacific region has been a focal point for various military advancements. Traditionally, discussions about military drones have been dominated by air and ground tech. However, the emergence of the U.S. Navy's Ghost Fleet has shifted the conversation towards unmanned maritime vessels. This unprecedented collaboration between the U.S. and Japan has significant implications for both nations and their regional adversary, China. On September 18, two LUSVs, Mariner and Ranger, operated by Unmanned Surface Vessel Division 1, USVDIV-1, arrived at Fleet Activities Yokosuka. Along with them, medium-class USVs, namely Sea Hunter and Sea Hawk, are also operating out of Japan for the first time. Their presence is a testament to the evolving maritime strategies in the Pacific and the strengthening collaboration between the US and Japan. Understanding the Ghost Fleet The US Navy's Ghost Fleet project signifies an evolutionary leap in maritime warfare. This strategic initiative isn't just about introducing unmanned ships, it's about transforming how naval operations are perceived and executed. The diverse range of vessels under the Ghost Fleet banner speaks volumes about its multifaceted objectives. The smaller USVs, which are solar-powered surveillance platforms, provide a nimble approach to reconnaissance and monitoring. Their size allows them to operate in areas larger vessels might find challenging. The medium-class ships, capable of launching torpedoes, offer a blend of stealth and offensive capabilities. They can potentially act as a first line of defense or offense, depending on the mission. LUSVs are the titans of the Ghost Fleet. With a length ranging between 200 and 300 feet and a full load displacement of up to 2,000 tons, they are formidable vessels. They aren't just noteworthy for their size but also for their armament. The Vertical Launch System VLS, is an integral component. With the ability to house between 16 to 32 missile tubes, it provides a substantial missile salvo that can address a myriad of threats or objectives. The VLS's versatility means it can launch anti-air, anti-ship, and even land attack missiles, depending on the need. Integrated Battle Problem The IPB is more than just an exercise, it's a vision of the future of naval warfare. The partnership between the US Navy and its allies, primarily Japan, serves to underscore the increasing significance of synergy in maritime strategies. At the core of IPB 23.3 is the testing of manned-unmanned cooperation. As the maritime realm evolves, the line between manned vessels and their unmanned counterparts is expected to blur. Ensuring seamless operation between these two forces is pivotal. The exercises aim to evaluate the strengths and identify the weaknesses of such integrations, ensuring the forces are not just complementary but also synergistic. While technical and operational efficiency is a core objective, the IPB 23.3 also serves a strategic purpose. By conducting these exercises in close proximity to the Pacific, it sends a direct message to potential adversaries, primarily China. The Indo-Pacific region has become a hotspot for naval confrontations and power plays. Demonstrating the ability to deploy advanced naval technology, particularly unmanned systems, in a joint operation emphasizes the preparedness and unity of the US and its allies. Though the potential of the Ghost Fleet and exercises like IPB 23.3 is undeniable, they also bring to the forefront several challenges. The rules of engagement with unmanned vessels, their reliability, the potential for technological glitches, and the ethical implications of decisions made by autonomous systems are all areas of concern that need addressing as the world moves closer to this new era of naval warfare. Implications for regional dynamics China's activities in the Pacific, especially in the South China Sea, have raised eyebrows globally. Their unique strategies, such as creating new islands, establishing floating barriers, and leveraging gray zone operations through law enforcement and the maritime militia, are rewriting the rules of naval engagement. In response to these actions and to assert its dominance, China is also advancing its unmanned vessel capabilities, mirroring the initiatives taken by the US and Japan. This parallel development is a clear indication of the rising stakes in the region. The presence of the Ghost Fleet in Japan, along with the subsequent exercises, serves multiple purposes. While it showcases the collaborative capabilities of the US and Japan, it also sends a clear signal to China, any aggressive expansion or territorial ambition will be met with advanced naval technology and united opposition. However, the introduction of unmanned vessels in the Pacific is not without challenges. Questions about rules of engagement, decision-making autonomy, and potential technical failures remain. Conclusion The Pacific, as a strategic naval region, is undergoing rapid transformation. The US Navy's Ghost Fleet, in partnership with Japan, is a formidable response to the evolving maritime challenges posed by China. As the waters of the Pacific become a theater for advanced technological display, nations must navigate these changes cautiously. The future of the region will undoubtedly be shaped by the decisions made today and the Ghost Fleet's role in it is only beginning.
Until next time, take care.